What it do, beautiful people? Your girl, Poet Time, for your Just Curious Report. Let's talk about it. Gabrielle Union, people are calling you caddy because when you were doing an interview and asked about your new show, Being Mary Jane, you said you lost out on the role of Scandal. You know, she was supposed to play Olivia Pope, but you got something better, a.k.a. your own show. I won't touch that with a 10-foot pole. I'll just say that it comes off as caddy, but that will not stop me from watching your show tonight at 10.30 because I support my sisters. People are still getting at Megan Good. As you know, she married Devon, that minister guy, at the BET Awards. You saw her titties on display, and people said as a first lady, it was a tad disrespectful and a little nasty. Now, while I understand, even though you're a first lady, you don't necessarily have to dress like the homie lover friend, maybe that was a little too risque for a first lady. I'm just saying, you can comment on that right now at PoetTaylor.com. Okay, so where do we start with Love & Hip Hop ATL? Rashida's talking about still fighting for her marriage. Honey, child, boo, bye. Why? when your man wanted you to get an abortion and then accused you of cheating on him because that's what rappers do and let's not even talk about him going into the bedroom with two chicks after going to the cabin in the woods with Benzino and Bobby V but you know what do I know except for Nicki Minaj agrees with me she took to Twitter to call him out about how would you sell out a 15 year relationship for 15 minutes of fame on VH1 that's what I'm saying speaking of VH1 the gossip game canceled dead in the water stinking apparently it didn't garner the ratings and I guess the viewers ship that they wanted. Perhaps Mona Scott Young should have had me, Urban Informer, Aladdin, a couple other folks that I know on there. So we would really show you how the gossip game goes down. All right. I don't know how to say this except rumor has it. Remember that Canadian model who said she slept with Yeezy? Well, apparently she has video of them having sex on her iPhone. Rumor has it that Yeezy and his people are trying to buy said tape for $250,000. Honey, you would have to be an idiot. You could easily get 5 or $10 million for that. Let's not forget how his baby mama got on. Now, that's all rumor and hush-hush, but it is quite funny how she said she had proof and had all that talking and then all of a sudden came out talking about I lied. Who would even do that to themselves but... I'm going to just let you ponder and think on that. All right, so Paris Jackson is coming out of UCLA's medical center. They want to send her to rehab. Apparently, she's been turned down by not one, not two, but three who feel like if they put Paris Jackson in their rehab, then, well, the other people they're trying to rehab will be bombarded with paparazzi and whatever else. I agree with that, but the child still needs some help. So perhaps they should find something out of the country, somewhere where she's not as popular, not as famous, and maybe it will do her a world of good. I'm going to take a moment right now to say, rest in peace, Samuel P. Taylor. My mother's dog died today. Y'all probably don't care, but I do, because my mother's a wreck, and it's the first time, well, maybe the second or third, that I have no idea how to deal with it. So... Your prayers are welcome. Thank you for your comments on Facebook and Twitter. Now that that side note is over, let's talk about Rihanna posting a video of her twerking to Drake's verse on effing problems. You want Chris Brown so bad, and I'm sure seeing him boot up with Karuchi Tran all BET Awards weekend did not help any. But again, what do I know? Okay, Michelle, everyone's seen the pictures of you and that chick cuddling in the pool, so are you bisexual? Are you gay? People are coming out like they did against Nicki Minaj and saying that not only have they ate the box, you eat it too. You're kind of hot, so I'm not going to say anything, but do you get your life? I ain't mad at you. Anything else you want to know? Spots told me that they saw Wiz Khalifa and Amber Rose at a kiosk at the L.A. courthouse getting a marriage license. Yay! That means they have 90 days to get married before it expires, so good luck to you, 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 and you. Am I the only person a little pissed at the George Zimmerman trial? Like, every time I find out something new, I get angrier and angrier, so play my strength in the Lord that I don't hurl something at my TV. All right. Oh, last but not least, BT kind of sort of apologized to B. Scott for making him change his clothes. As you know, he had on like a real hot ensemble. They put him in a tuxedo jacket, some flats, and pulled his hair back. Well, his or her hair back, depending on how you want to identify B. Scott. I say her because, well, she's all love. They didn't really apologize, but they did apologize and say that they didn't want to offend anybody in the gay, lesbian, LGBT community. You can get full deets on that right now at uh, PoetTaylor.com. 50 Cent says Chief Keith did not follow his advice, and that's why he's in all the trouble that he's in. I don't even know, 50 Cent, if you could help him, but that's another story for another day. I'm your girl, Poet. That's officially your Just Curious Report. Holler at assistant. Email me, info at PoetTaylor.com. Com. I answer all emails. You can, of course, tweet me at O'Reilly Poet. Find me on Instagram at Poe Chains and uh, right here, YouTube.com slash O'Reilly Poet. You're just curious report. Every day at 8 o'clock, shout out to the Hip Hop Matrix Show.com, which will give you the full recap tomorrow at 10 a.m. I'll holla. Mwah.